What you are about to see isn't science fiction. It is a glimpse into how one country is reshaping the physical world at a speed and scale that defies belief. In just 10 years, the People's Republic of China has spent over $450 billion on one of the largest infrastructure expansions in human history. Entire cities are being carved into existence. Rivers are being bent, mountains cut in half, and machines are literally building land that never existed. This isn't development, it's domination, and it's changing everything, trade, energy, power, even how we think about what's possible. So why should you care? Because when a nation mobilizes nearly half a trillion dollars to reshape its land, the shockwaves are not local, they are global. This kind of mega building challenges how the world thinks about infrastructure. Floating cities, smart tunnels, underground highways, ideas that once lived in science fiction books are now pouring out of concrete in real time. China is not just catching up, it is leapfrogging the rest of the world. This is infrastructure as strategy. Engineering as power, a silent form of dominance baked into steel, concrete, and control. Let's peel this back. What does $450 billion actually build? Not just roads, not just dams. We are talking about a total reprogramming of terrain and purpose. In June 2024, China confirmed a staggering commitment, $450 billion into what officials called a National Infrastructure Acceleration Strategy. This includes mega dams, energy hubs, cross-continental transport corridors, and even entire new cities. And this is not fluff. This is a direct push across four critical domains, energy, water, transport, and urbanization. Let's start with the showstoppers, hydroelectric titans. In China, water is not just a resource, it is a weapon of transformation. One dam alone rises 289 meters, taller than most skyscrapers, and houses 16 turbines, each pumping out 1 million kilowatts of power. But this is not just about power. These dams control floods, irrigate farmland, redirect rivers, and provide navigation routes. This is nature, rewritten by blueprint. Then come the mega railways, the kind that would make Roman engineers weep. One viaduct spans nearly 2,000 kilometers, with support pillars 74 meters high. That is nearly a 25-story building holding up a train line. Freight trains now glide like ballet dancers over landscapes that once took days to cross. In China, geography is negotiable. Mountains flattened, valleys filled, entire landscapes are being re-sculpted to make room for new cities. One urban zone expanded by hundreds of square kilometers, not by stretching outward, but by quite literally remaking the land. So what's driving this insane level of ambition? Three big reasons, rising energy demand, internal migration, and the need to future-proof their economy. In short, small projects do not cut it anymore. The challenges are too big, and China's appetite is even bigger. This is the megascale mindset, and $450 billion is the price tag for staying ahead. But this is just the beginning, because the real question isn't just what China, it's what happens when the rest of the world sees it and tries to catch up. We've seen the numbers. Now let's see the reality. Concrete and steel are just the skeleton. What we're about to explore is the mind behind the machine. These aren't projects, they're ecosystems, living, evolving, embedded with AI, powered by smart grids, designed to reshape the human experience. First up, the crown jewel, Xiang'an New Area. South of Beijing, this isn't just a city, it's a manifesto. Launched by President Xi Jinping, Xiang'an is designed for 6.7 million people. But here's the kicker, skyscrapers are banned. Not one tower will block the sky. Why? 
because this city isn't aiming for height, it's aiming for harmony between nature, tech, and humanity. Everything runs on a smart grid. Autonomous buses glide through streets. High-speed trains connect to Beijing in 30 minutes. Facial recognition replaces ID cards. Waste disappears through vacuum tubes. Energy, AI optimized. Traffic, algorithmically predicted. This is China's brainchild for the next century, and over $120 billion is already in play. Now, head west, deep into China's rugged heart. The Lanzhou to Chongqing Railway is a marvel of persistence. 2,000 kilometers of rail, and more than 75% of it runs through mountains. Let that sink in, three out of every four kilometers are either tunneled, bridged, or viaducted. Engineers spent years boring through rock, drilling, detonating, reinforcing. It is not just construction, it is warfare against geography. But there is strategy here. This corridor links coal, lithium, and bauxite supplies to eastern megacities. This is the industrial artery feeding the national grid. And when trains can now cross what once took weeks to traverse, everything changes. Trade, industry, migration. You have heard of the Three Gorges Dam. Now meet its younger, smarter, meaner sibling, Baihatan. Rising 289 meters, holding back 17 billion cubic meters of water, and generating a mind-bending 16,000 megawatts, Baihatan is a colossus. Enough power to light up over 13 million homes. But here is the twist. This dam is smart. It was built using 3D printed components, robotic pavers, and AI-controlled floodgates that react to rainfall and seismic shifts in real time. This is clean energy on an industrial battlefield where concrete meets code. Now, what if you run out of land? Easy, you build more. The Greater Bay Area, which links Hong Kong, Macau, and Shenzhen, is China's most aggressive example of land creation. Entire islands have been dredged, ports expanded, and coastlines redrawn to accommodate population and industry. It is not just city planning, it is terraforming. And while environmentalists rage, for China this is not optional, it is survival. When 60% of your population lives along the coast and land runs out, you do not wait. You expand reality itself. Now jump aboard the future, literally. China's fuxing bullet trains already hit 350 kilometers per hour. A new maglev prototype just crossed 620 kilometers per hour, faster than a passenger jet. Today, China commands over 45,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, more than the rest of the world combined. And these stations, they are more than terminals. They are smart ecosystems. AI schedules trains based on real-time demand. Drones patrol for safety. Passengers board using facial recognition. Transport here isn't evolving, it's mutating. Every tunnel, dam, and rail is alive, embedded with IoT sensors that detect cracks, stress, temperature, moisture. If a cable bends, it sends a signal. If pressure spikes, control centers know instantly. This is infrastructure with a nervous system, a living body of concrete, steel, and code. But not all of this progress is clean. To make room for these mega projects, entire communities are displaced. Over 1.3 million people were moved for the Three Gorges Dam alone. Farms are gone, ancestral lands flooded, protests silenced. This is progress with scars. For the average Chinese citizen, this is normal now. A city appears where there was farmland. A train moves faster than thought. A mountain vanishes in weeks. It is not just a physical transformation. It is psychological. This is how you build belief, not just in your government, but in possibility itself. 
So what does $450 billion really buy? Not just infrastructure, but leverage. Internal unity, rural to urban mobility, shrinking the divide. Energy security, hydropower that replaces coal. Economic engine, jobs, growth, momentum. Global projection, showing the world who leads the 21st century build race. This is not random. It is orchestration, a digital symphony in concrete and code. What you have seen so far, the megacities, the mountain-cutting railways, the AI-operated dams, that is just the opening act. Because the real show, that starts now. China is not stopping. It is accelerating. The $450 billion already spent? That was just seed funding. The next wave is even more ambitious, and it could redefine what a country even looks like. The next step is self-operating cities. China is planning multiple new smart cities, designed from day one with AI governance. Autonomous transit, predictive policing, real-time energy optimization, algorithmic zoning, and traffic flow. Imagine a city that thinks, it adjusts, it optimizes itself 24 seven. This is not urban planning, it is urban intelligence. Above ground, China's cities are crowded. Below ground, the future is being dug. Plans are underway to build subterranean mega highways under major urban clusters, combining high-speed maglev pods, logistics drones, and freight tunnels. Think of it as a second layer of city, invisible, instant, and autonomous. Energy is power, literally. China's State Grid Corporation is now pushing for the Asian Supergrid, an interlinked electricity sharing system that connects countries across the continent. If completed, it will be the largest energy network on Earth. And now, the world is reacting. The US is debating a mega project stimulus act. India has announced $100 billion in rail and port expansion. The EU's global gateway is being positioned as a $300 billion counterweight to China's Belt and Road. This isn't cooperation. It's a cold war with concrete and cables. Infrastructure has become ideology, and whoever builds the platforms runs the systems. But even titans cast shadows. These projects are funded by massive loans. If they do not deliver return on investment fast enough, Localized debt spirals, stalled builds, drag on national reserves, dams and reclamation change natural balances. If an earthquake hits one of these hyper-engineered zones, we are talking cascading failures, floods, energy blackouts, structural collapse. What happens when smart cities become surveillance eco ecosystems? Facial recognition, social credit scores, predictive behavior models, all embedded in daily life. The future might be efficient, but it might also be watching you. This, this is not just about who builds the tallest bridge or the fastest train. This is philosophy versus philosophy. China style versus Western style, centralized versus decentralized, state driven versus private led, closed grid systems versus open source innovation, engineered urbanism versus grassroots growth. It is not just concrete, it is code, control, culture, whoever builds the future's platforms, builds the future's power. This is not just China's story, it is ours. Because if these mega projects work, if smart cities, mega dams, and high-speed corridors actually deliver prosperity, the rest of the world will follow. But if they collapse, if they sink under their own ambition, the world learns another lesson. Either way, this $450 billion blueprint is rewriting the rules of civilization. It is not about roads. It is not about bridges. It is about systems, data, power. So ask yourself, what future are we building? And who is building it first?